What's up, guys? Hi, guys. How's it going? So me and my brother are finally done with my um, hog wire fence in my backyard. So I want to give you a little preview of um, how that turned out. And then I'll show you a step-by-step -step tutorial of uh, how to build this from start to finish. So let's take a look. All right, check it out. So this is what's called a hog wire fence where we've got um, our hog wire or utility panels sort of surrounded by this wooden frame. Okay. Loop around here, here's my dogs. My garden, don't mind the mess. There's a lot of gardening in progress right now. And I will loop around to my favorite part, which is the entryway. We've got this little archway that we built. Well, I say we, pretty much my brother built this by himself. But yeah, there you have it. All right, Ty, what are, we doing? what are we doing today? We're about to build a fence. What kind of fence are we building? A uh, fucking a Wallace fence so he doesn't bite your neighbor again. <laughs> We're gonna build, I don't actually know what this is called. So step one, step one, you wanna call your, you wanna call the building department for yep. your county or your city, whatever it is. Yep. Um, I already called, Jace already knew. So this is basically how it went, hello. Um, oh, is this Ty from Public Figure? <laughs> yes, it is. How'd that's you, that's his band name. <laughs> so anyways, I was wondering, um, my sister and I are building a fence at her property. I wanted to know, uh, I just wanted to make sure we're doing everything right. She said, um, if it's shorter than seven feet, you don't need a permit. Ty, that was super easy. Holla. Uh, you might want to call 811. That seems to be Call before you number. dig. Yep, call before you dig. They'll mark your lines. You don't want to be fucking up gas lines and water lines um so there you have it let's go to the store time lapse okay i want to show you guys what materials you're going to be using for this project so um or that i'm going to be using for this project i've got my four by four posts and then i created a sort of picture frame with um two by fours inside of that frame i have a hog wire panel which i bought this at um Porchland, and it was like a 16 foot long panel but they cut it in half for me at the store so that i could get it home in my trailer and then i've got a two by six mud board on the bottom and then on top of these posts i'm gonna have uh, just a post cap I haven't gotten those yet but now that you know kind of what the setup's going to look like, uh, once you once you plan out your space, you can kind of calculate how much you need of each of those materials. All right, when you're planning out where you want to put your fence posts, you want to make sure that it is squared up with your house. So we, what we did to ensure that is we had a mason line running along this direction. And then we had another mason line that was lined up exactly with the back of my house. And you wanna measure a three, four, five triangle or multiple of that. So we measured um, six feet along the mason line that was going along there. We measured eight feet along that one. And you take those two points, measure the diagonal, and our diagonal was 10 feet exactly. Um, that's going to ensure that we have a 90 degree um, corner and it's going to be squared up exactly with my house. Okay, so when we first started laying out where we wanted my fence to go, um, I bought some wooden stakes which were pretty flimsy as you'll see. Um, we ended up buying some metal stakes and it was so worth it. Um, so I would recommend doing that if you're going to build a fence or buy some pretty thick um, wooden stakes. Um, don't do this what I'm gonna show you. <laughs> hi Sky. She's saying hi. Hi baby. This is bad advertising. <laughs> <laughs> you can blame oh, it. You got him. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> you can blame it on me. I didn't I did not have the tools that I said I had. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
That would be my neighbors. Okay. This is about to be a 10 second hold. Timer's on. Damn. That was the longest 10 seconds of my life. <laughs> Okay, what are we looking at here, Ty? We're looking at something that should have been invented a long time ago. <laughs> but the people at Secure Set came up with this. Don't know why it's not been used for a, for longer. These are just dollar tool hooks, Menards, little garden stakes. We got lucky because we got oak, but even that's splitting. Just drill a hole, twist that in, boom. You got four of these shit. Yeah. Set that up. Look at that. So that your sister can man the camera while you're building the fence. <laughs> it works so well, it can hold itself up. Look at this. Wait, I'm gonna get closer. Whoa! <laughs> that was too, that was too <laughs> and then we just, while it's generally level, put some stakes in and then get it perfect and nail those in. Oh my gosh, it's too far from the line. <laughs> wow. Psych. I don't need you. <laughs> All right. Oh, the sun just went away a little bit. Okay, so um, the product I'm using for my post foundations is actually foam. This is called Secure Set. And I decided to use foam because I don't want to carry around 80 pound bags of cement, first of all. Um, I'm trying to not break my back. And also, this is actually super strong. Go like look up some YouTube videos on foam found post foundations. You will be very impressed. Uh, this particular brand, they use this for like utility posts and um, stuff like that. So I figured if it can handle that, it probably handle my fence just fine. I'm going to measure this out a little bit. Uh, you want e equal parts of part A and part B and then you blend it together and you just pour it in your hole and it's going to foam up really, or it's going to expand really nicely. Now I would recommend using bigger cups than this uh, for sure because I need to do a couple pours. Um, this doesn't give me quite enough to fill up the post tool, but it's all they had at the store. So That's pretty crazy that that even gets you close to how much yeah. you need. Okay, just gonna pour some in. Try to get it around evenly. This side. And then I'm just gonna keep that cup there. Very small post holes too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I did twelve post holes in an hour, and I was like taking my sweet time. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and and one other thing. Are you still recording? Yep. One other thing is um why i like these is because once you put the foam in it really only takes like an hour or two to set and then you can just start building where if you use a concrete foundation you might have to wait like a day for it to set before you can do anything else so, secure set if you want to sponsor me you know where to find me <laughs> Okay, I want to show you guys how I'm figuring out where I want to drill in my mud board. So you can see the first one that I put in there and I've been lining them up like this. So this is my line where I want it. I'm just looping around a string there. Okay. Hold 
win this guy over. I forgot my level. <laughs> so I pull my strings over. I've got my little string level here. What's that little tool that you got? That blue little thing? Called? Apparently it's called a square. I learned when I was 23 years old, I think. I'm making sure that's level. And then I'm just gonna draw a line here and then take out that nail and you're good. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is putting a groove into my two by fours. This groove is going to allow the hog wire to slide in there and then it's, that's how it's gonna be supported. Um, instead of having two small pieces of wood sandwiching the hog wire together, this is much easier and much more efficient. And I'm getting that groove by using this dado blade, which is just three blades that are um, stacked up. I think it's, I forget how wide it is. Um, so, safety first. <laughs> Here we go, my dog's gonna freak out. What we did here, we uh, first we started with our mud board here, and we have that flush with the outside of our post. Okay, then we drilled in our bottom two by four, and then our side ones here and here. Um, I also added some weak pulls, so we just drilled in at three spots so that if any water collects, it's able to drain through there. Um, so typically, when I've seen hog wire construction done they'll uh, they'll build the frame first and then sort of try to fit it into the area between the post but um, you never know if your posts are going to be perfect so I didn't want to have to force it in it's our last panel besides the fences or the fence I mean Okay, I'm gonna cut that out because that was real bad. <laughs> As you can tell, she's not prepared. Okay. Even though she has a tool bag, she doesn't put any tools in it. All right. sitting on the bottom here, okay? And then I'm gonna take my bolt cutters and I'm just gonna eyeball it where my groove is on the other side. Um, yeah, and cut it there. And it, if it's not perfect, it's not a big deal because you got that top plate going on top that's gonna help secure it as well as the bottom. My, my philosophy when it comes to construction is measure once, cut once, Spend five hours fixing my mistake. No, I'm kidding. But I do try to try to design things in a way that allows room for error. And so this whole fence is kind of designed like that because I guarantee you I will screw up the measurements along the way. Bam. Okay, now I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna back up a little bit. I'm gonna bend it, slide it right in. Look how easy that was. And then make sure it's aligned at the bottom. And then just push it in. Now you might, might need to take a hammer, make sure it goes down, but this one went down really easy. And I'll tell you um, one tip 
If these are sitting on your property for a while before you actually build anything, try to make sure that they're totally flat because um, some of them weren't completely flat and so they were a little bowed and it was a lot harder to get the bottom to slide in like that or the sides to go in. Um, but there you have it, pretty easy. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> We have some green treated deck board, which is what we decided to use for this. Would you just look at it? <laughs> Would you just look at it? Why did we why did we choose nice. that one, Ty? What? Why did we choose that one? Decking right. board versus We were on the fence about what to do in the first place. You do top caps like a lot of people do. Which uh, are expensive. Thanks. Still covered in sawdust. Uh, so this is actually. Steve, cheap. you trying to be in my YouTube video? Where'd he go? You're trying to be in her YouTube video? Come here, Steve. Yeah. With your Budweiser pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks so good. So you can, we were on the fence, design-wise we were on the fence, <laughs> um, <laughs> about uh, post caps or just a top rail, oh, and I rail's like, cheaper, <laughs> and it looks good as you can see. So, I like your pants. What's Thank up, you. Steve? <laughs> <laughs> what are, oh, they're Budweiser. <laughs> Butt wiper. <laughs> So, some scratches and stuff, but boop, that's all right. Here. All right, here we go. Okay. I'm, that's the arch. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's almost done. What you doing, Ty? I'm putting in these latches. I'm going to have to drill out some uh, holes in the concrete, and these will slide right in. Yep. Said partly cloudy on the weather. <laughs> so we inlaid, we pre drilled and then inlaid a little bit with the spade bit, and that'll sink right in with the washer. Cool. <laughs> All right, this is the final look. So that pretty much sums it up. Um, we probably spent maybe four to five solid days um, building this. It was quite a bit of work, uh, but a lot of that was just preparation and running back and forth to the hardware store a million times. Um, but now that we've done it, you know, we could do it again probably in half the time. I decided, that's my Husky. I decided to, um, build a fence like this because I just really loved the look of it. And also I thought it would be a less expensive fence to build. Um, that was not so much the case because um, we did a couple of things that were a little unique, like using foam for post foundations and things like that, that added a little extra cost. But um, I love it. My dogs love it. Uh, if you do want to know how much it costs, if you're thinking about <laughs> making, <laughs> Building a fence like this, I can certainly tally up those numbers and um, let you know. Thanks for watching, guys. Say hi. What?